All right, guys, so we haven't talked about Alabama and Kaylin DeBoer since the hire, you know, since um, um, Saban's departure and a little higher level up in Alabama and Kaylin DeBoer coming over. The recruiting is finally over with. And uh, now we can see what, what, what Kaylin, DeBoer, Kaylin DeBoer really has brought in. A lot of folks are saying he's not going to be able to keep the four and five stars coming in because of all what just left. And what we're going to talk about real quick is just, did he bring in what got dished out? All right, so let's go right into that. First and foremost, we all know the big names that left. You know, the signee, Julian Sayan, the quarterback. He's gone to Ohio State. Okay, you got a cornerback, uh, Jamar Grimsley. He transferred to Florida. All right. Caleb Downs also went to Ohio State. Okay, so the, the two five stars that left was Julian Sayan and Caleb Downs. Okay. So, then you got four stars, like Jameer Grimsley was a four-star. Caden Proctor was a four-star, five-star, depending on what you go by. All right. Then you got Mar Nick Black, or this is Lamar Black. He went to uh, Texas. Then you got Dez Ricks, went to a and Isaiah Bond went to Texas. And then the rest of the guys, you know, you got Earl Little Jr. He transferred to Florida State. Uh, you got Ja'Cory Brooks transferred to Louisville. You know, so those are the four and five stars that he lost. So he lost what? Two fives, Julian Sand and Caleb Downs. Then the rest of them was fours. You got Grimsley a four. A Mary is a four. Ricks is a four. Bond is a four. So going by those guys there, four four stars and two five stars. So that's seven all together. Okay, so that's what he lost in the four and five star area. Let's go to what he brought in. Four star uh, Keon Sab from Michigan, Parker Brassford from Washington. That's a four star. D Lyman Overton from A and M. He's a depending on what you look at. He's a five star, but they got him on here as a three star on three. I kind of rock with on three, so we're gonna say a three star. But so he brought in one, two. Two four stars? That's just out of the portal. But let's see what all together did he bring in, okay? So let's see he had seven four and five stars just leave, right? So we got one five star, two five stars, three five stars, okay? We got a four star, five, another four star, another four star, Another four star. So that right there, I already passed the seven four stars. Then we got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So he brought in 14 all together, four and five stars with the seven that he lost. Okay. And that's not even, that's not the transfer. That's that sign. You know, the uh, coming out of high school. Then you had the transfer reporter in there. So I think he did a pretty decent job. Like he lost seven. Don't get me wrong, big names, Julian Sand, but he hasn't played a down to college football. Caleb Downs, we know how good he was. Riggs, we know how good he was. So he's just, I mean, he lost seven, but he brought in more five stars than he left. He brought in more four stars. He brought in, yeah, three Five stars. He only lost two. Then the rest of them was fours. Got more of those. So I think he did. I think he did pretty good. I think he's doing pretty decent for himself. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. 
the guys he lost were well was well known guys who contributed big last year besides saying he hasn't played at all. But I think Bond is the one that had to catch him back in the end zone against uh, against Auburn or was it Ricks? One of the two. I think it was Bond, 17. But um he's first nationally, first in SEC. So he's doing darn good when it comes to the recruiting ranks. I think the board's doing all right for itself. First time in the SEC, you know, first recruiting year. A lot of the guys, everybody didn't leave them. You know what I'm saying? Every, some of these guys are going to give them a shot because some of these guys want to win a championship next year. But, but, let's talk about that. Can they win a championship next year? You know, if we go look at their roster, I mean, their schedule for next year, they got Western Kentucky, South Florida, Wisconsin, then they go to Georgia, Vanderbilt, South Carolina, Tennessee, Missouri, LSU, Mercer, Oklahoma, and Auburn. So, out of all those games, I can see them beating West Kentucky, South Florida, and Wisconsin. Then you got Georgia at home. You're going to lose against Georgia. You, got Van you go to Vanderbilt, you're going to win Vanderbilt, you're going to win South Carolina. Tennessee, toss-up game. Missouri, toss-up game. LSU, toss-up game. You're going to beat Mercer. You're going to beat Oklahoma. Auburn, toss-up game. And the reason I say Auburn is toss-up game because you got Hugh Freeze, who's bad. Then you got Hugh Freeze, who also been a part of the Iron Bowl, who almost beat Alabama last year. So he knows how big that game is. Even though he's lost it, he's going to be coming back next year. He wants to beat Alabama. So with that being said, we're just going to have to read. I, I just think that... Hugh Freeze is going to have the upper hand, and he's going to beat uh, the newcomer in Caleb DeBoer. So, all in all, I see him having, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dubs. First year in, I see him having seven dubs, and I could be wrong, but it's just me right now looking at his schedule, seven wins. But is he hanging in the recruiting ranks? 100%. He's first in the nation, first in the SEC, so he's doing well. He's doing well for himself. Let's stay, let's stay tuned for spring and let's see how they're looking in spring. And uh let's stay let's and stay tuned for more on Alabama.